Welcome to CIS 122, uh, Introduction to Programming with Microsoft Excel. Um, you have to understand that this is a little bit weird for me to be sitting in my office with nobody here talking to you all out there, <laughs> so please bear with me. Uh, this is a new experience. Uh, I think that this term will be a lot of fun, but uh, there might be some kind of wonky stuff. Um, first things first, I want to make crystal clear that there seems to be some misunderstanding about this class. This class is a programming class. This class is required for our CIS AAS degree majors. This is not a required class for anybody else. This class will not transfer to most four-year computer science programs. Um, this class is intended to be just an introduction to programming for folks who probably don't plan on becoming programmers. But you might get a taste and uh, really like it and think maybe you want to pursue programming as a career. Um, another thing about this class that's critical to understand is that many people find this to be a very hard class. Uh, I hope to help you as much as possible to have success with this class, but this class is going to require a, a serious commitment on your part and require a tremendous amount of uh, motivation to pretty much stay on top of this and, and to do the work. Uh, my anticipation about this class is that Normally, this class meets for all oh, two hours and 15 minutes twice a week. So that's face-to-face, -face, uh, four hours, a little over four hours. And we do a lot during that four-hour period. I then also expect students to do several hours of homework for every hour in class. And for some people, it's going to be more like maybe three hours of homework, or depending on what kind of grade you want to get, four hours of homework for every hour in class. So. I think the bare minimum for most students uh, on this class, because it's a uh, online class and you're spending this time on your own, I think that you should be anticipating somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 hours as a minimum to have some success with this class, 15 hours a week. I think that some of you will find that probably you're going to be spending somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 hours a week. So you really need to be seriously considering whether or not you have the time in your life for this kind of, this kind of work. Um, I really love programming, and uh, I also have often told students that if you don't really love programming, you may not want to take this class because there are going to be some frustrations in trying to uh, get a program to do what you want it to do. So please, uh, please be very thoughtful when you're thinking about your next 10 weeks as to whether or not you think you have the time to, uh, to really spend on this class. Um, I know that you don't necessarily need to get an A in this class. Um, I think that uh, a student could get a C in this class and uh, not necessarily uh, feel um, that they knock themselves out. But I think that even to get a C in this class, you're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 15 hours of work a week. So uh, please, uh, please consider that. Another thing, of course, is I don't understand or I don't know what your background is. If you've had some programming before, then this material might come quite easy for you. I have had students in the past who who have had programming and they, they just kind of run with the material and do their own thing in many, in many respects. I have also had students who've never had any programming before, but uh, they really like problem solving and puzzles and working things out. And so they found the class to be pretty entertaining and enjoyable. And I've also had students who uh, don't like the class <laughs> and they're only taking it because it's a requirement for the program. And uh, they take the class several times before they pass it. So again, it's what you bring to the table, and I don't know what that is. I'm not going to say that this class is going to require any, any superior math skills per se, but if you enjoy math and you enjoy the kind of problem-solving nature of math, then obviously um, this kind of class would be a little bit more to your liking. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you have any questions, um, definitely send me an email at pkc at coccie.edu. You see my name and number there on the screen. Um, when you do send email, please remember to include the 20487 somewhere in the subject line of your email. That makes it easier for me to find your email. It'll get filtered into the correct place. Uh, I get a lot of email. It's easy for me to misplace email if it's not filtered in the correct place. You definitely want to make sure you have subject lines on all your email. Um, what else? Blackboard, of course, is where most of the course materials will be. I'll be creating a wide variety of videos helping you understand concepts in Visual Basic using Excel. Um, there will be the textbook. Some people find the textbook to be more of a resource rather than a traditional textbook, and indeed that's what it is. 
it's not a textbook like uh, a standard textbook with textbook with problems at the end of the chapters and so on. It's more of a resource. It's written by a guy who knows a lot about Visual Basic in Excel. Uh, it's an excellent book. It's got way more material than we're going to be able to cover. So don't panic if you see this book and think we're going to try to go through the whole thing. We do not. We're pretty picky and choosy about what we can do. So uh, don't panic about that. But if you want to explore things in a little bit more depth or explore some topic that we don't get a chance to, to deal with, then it is an excellent resource in that regard. Um, what else? Uh, if you've never used Blackboard before, uh, please explore the course environment. Uh, please read things carefully and uh, fire off questions and let me know what, uh, what questions you might have. I am going to have a student helping me with this class. His name is Jesse Stewart. Um, Jesse's a person who likes programming, <laughs> so if he's uh, enthusiastic like I am, uh, run with that. Uh, so he's going to be learning Visual Basic for Applications VBA along with you. He's never done it before, so that should give uh, a fresh set of eyes to, uh, to some of the problems that you might have and some of the things that you might want to know about. I strongly encourage you to post your questions in the Blackboard discussion forum. I'll be watching that discussion forum carefully and answering questions there. And I really want you to ask questions there rather than sending me questions via email, simply because the uh, rest of the class, of course, might learn something from your question and answer uh, in Blackboard. So please uh, use the Blackboard forums as much as possible for questions and answers. Let's see, what else can I think of? Well, I think I'm going to stop here with this little introductory video. Um, normally, I'm not going to be recording my picture, so don't get don't get uh, used to this. Um, if anybody does want to have a video chat with me online, I'm sure we can arrange that also. And also, we can arrange for me to take a look at what you're doing on your computer. If something's funny on your computer, um, we can arrange for me to take a look at that also. So all these various tools are available. Uh, again, the key here is make sure you have plenty of time in your life to do this class. Otherwise, don't even start it. I know that some of you might be taking this class because it was the only thing left on the, uh, on the table when all the rest of the students registered. That may not be a good enough reason to take this class. You want to really be sure that you've got the time and a certain level of interest because um, this class is considered by many students to be difficult. So don't uh, misunderstand that. Um, I really want you to have fun with this class, and I really hope you enjoy it. I love the program, but I'm certainly trying to make it as crystal clear as I can that uh, this is not an easy class. So, see you online.